Hello everyone. Today's webinar will cover using the Real Estate Transaction Import app and the Transaction Levy app. To everyone who has attended previous webinars, welcome back. And to those newcomers, thanks for joining us. My name is Janet Gavea and I am the Client Success Manager for Leap Canada. Our team develops these webinars based on best practices and feedback we receive from our Leap users, so everyone gets the most out of every feature in Leap. A few housekeeping items before we begin. This webinar will run for approximately 45 minutes. Our sessions are interactive and questions are encouraged. A pre-recording of the webinar will be made available shortly after the presentation. This webinar is offered for training and educational purposes and is not intended as legal advice. Full instructions for all content discussed today can be found on the LEAP community page. As always, our team is here for you. If you require more advanced training tailored to your needs, please connect with your client success team. The topics we will cover today include enabling the real estate transaction import and transaction levy apps within LEAP, configuration of cost recovery activity codes and matter numbers, we will review how to import transactions from Unity to Leap. We will also review the results of the import and take a look at the transaction levy fee entries, postings, and reporting. So let's begin. From the matters list, go to the menu option in the upper left corner and click App Marketplace. Here you will see the Real Estate Transaction Import and Transaction Levy apps. Click into the Real Estate Transaction Import app and select Enable. Repeat this process for both apps. Once they have been enabled, return to the matter list. The connection between Unity and Leap is based on a couple of key elements, matching cost recovery codes and matching matter numbers. Let's take a closer look at these key elements. To set up your LEAP integration, in Unity, go to the Statement of Account in the Conveyance or Configuration. From the Accounting Software drop-down menu, choose PC Law. Next, we need to manage the GL accounting codes. Unity will pre-populate the standard GL accounting codes, and you will need to add or change these codes to match your office's accounting configurations. Click Manage Accounting Software Codes to manage your available GL accounting codes. Click on the hamburger menu next to an entry to delete that item or to add a new item to the list. Once you have finished adding and editing your list of accounting codes, click OK to save your changes to your Unity account. To speed up the process, you can assign GL accounting codes to your default disbursements in the Statement of Account configurations. Each disbursement can be assigned a unique GL code from the list of accounting codes. To assign a disbursement a GL accounting code, click the drop-down menu next to the line item and select the appropriate code from your list. Once you have assigned the appropriate codes to each disbursement, click Save. These changes will now appear on your Statement of Account page. Please note these settings will apply to all matters opened after they have been configured. To apply the settings to existing matters, you will have to reset the Statement of Account on the Statement of Accounts page. To review the cost recovery codes and confirm they match the codes in Unity, go to the menu option in Leap, click Settings, Application Settings, and then click the Accounting tab on the left. Navigate to the Activity Codes and select Expense Recovery. These activity codes were configured during the installation of Leap, so we just want to make sure they match exactly to Unity. Look up the codes and compare the recovery code in LEAP to the cost recovery code in UNITY. The billing description will likely be the same, but in this case, UNITY's billing description will auto-populate your LEAP matter. Be sure to confirm the tax setting is correct in the Tax Code field, then click Save. Repeat this process for each cost recovery code to be imported. Once the setup is complete, your team can import transactions quickly and easily without making any edits before each import. As a reminder, 
the two key elements of importing transactions from Unity to Leap are matching cost recovery codes and matching matter numbers. Your real estate matter must be opened in Leap first. Leap will generate a matter number that will be entered in Unity. Be sure the matter numbers match exactly. Now, you're all set. As you complete your statement of account on a matter, you can also choose to create the file that will be exported from Unity. On the Statement of Account page under the Actions menu, select Send to Export Accounting File. Click OK on the confirmation pop-up to confirm the files for export. Once the export file has been created, Unity will display the information about the last export on the Statement of Account page. If you would like to create accounting export files across multiple matters at one time, you can do that from the Matters page. On the Matters page, select the matters you would like to create accounting export files for. With the matters selected, go to the Actions menu and choose the option to export the selected items. Once you have created the accounting files for the applicable matters, you will need to export them out of Unity. Click on the Integrations tab to view the Integrations page. From here, click Download Accounting Export Files. Unity will display a list of matters with accounting files ready to be exported. When downloading, all available files are downloaded in a zip folder. The list of matters with available files will clear after you have created the zip folder. Prior to importing the accounting files from Unity, you must extract them from the downloaded zip folder. Choose to save the files to a path on your system that you can easily find and click Extract. Once fully extracted, the files will be ready to import to Leap. From the Leap Matter list, click the menu option in the upper left corner, select Accounting, and navigate to Transaction Import. Browse to the location of the downloaded transaction files, select the Unity zip file, and click Import. Review the entries, and click Save and Finish. Leap will then confirm the results of the import, and you can close the window. Next, we will review how to import transactions to one matter. From the Leap Matter list, open the matter you wish to import the transactions for. Click into the General Account tab and select Expense Recoveries on the left. In the row of options across the top, you will see the new Transaction Import icon. Click this icon to open the Import window. Browse to the location of the downloaded transaction files, select the Unity zip file, and click Import. Review the entries, then click Save and Finish. Review and close the confirmation window and you will now see all imported transactions on the matter. The Transaction Levy app is a Leap Partner add-in designed to create and report on transaction levies for applicable real estate and litigation matter types. At the beginning of the webinar, we showed you how to enable the Transaction Levy app from the menu on the matter list. The main purpose of this app is to provide functionality to accurately capture expenses to matters and reporting required to pay levy charges on a quarterly basis. We will review these steps in a moment. The first time a user opens the app, the settings window will appear to confirm some information. By default, Leap will set the litigation and real estate recovery codes and amounts. These settings will need to be configured once and Leap will automatically save and use them going forward. Transaction levy fees are posted through the accounting area in the global menu, but recognizing the matters for posting the levy fees is done at the matter level. Let me show you. Open the matter to the Details and Correspondence tab. Down the left side of the window, you will see a collection of tables. Tables are fields to enter information relevant to a specific matter type. These tables help Leap automate documents and, in our case today, identify a matter requiring a transaction levy posting. Since transaction levy fees are paid by the law firm to the Law Society every quarter, Leap includes a table titled Vendor to include the Law Society card. Next, you will see a table called Transaction Levy Details. Double-click to open. 
Here you will indicate the levy fee is applicable on the matter and include the date the fee needs to be paid. Click OK to save the details and close the window. Note that adding these details will not post the levy fee to the file. However, it is a mandatory step to ensure LEAP creates the postings and includes the matter on the quarterly report to the Law Society. Finally, we're going to take a look at the reporting. In the matter list, click on the menu in the upper left corner. Click Accounting, then navigate to Transaction Levy. In the new window, select the quarter you are reporting on. LEAP will automatically show the dates within the quarter. There is an option to check all and include all matters in the display that have already been processed but have yet to be reported on and included in the payment for this quarter. This option is useful when others in the firm post levy fees at the matter level. In our demonstration, we will be posting fees globally. Click Select Matters and LEAP will display a list of matters that have been flagged for levy fee postings. The three columns on the far right indicate the type of levy fee, the amount of the cost recovery to be posted to the matter, and a checkbox confirming the cost recovery will be created. Review and confirm the selection, then click Create Expense Recoveries. After the levy fees have been posted, you can run the necessary reports. LEAP provides both the summary and detailed report options. Download and review, and you are ready to submit the quarterly transaction levy reports. Before we conclude, please remember to bookmark the LEAP community page and check back often for new articles, features, and updates. Thank you for joining, and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar.